welcome back everyone today we are going for a new topic called gamma diversity so uh, i have cut the big video of alpha beta gamma diversity in small small parts for better understanding and today's topic is about gamma diversity and it will be a really small video because uh, to define gamma diversity is just to multiply alpha diversity and beta diversity so check out those videos to make sure you understand what those are alpha and beta so what is gamma diversity vitaka explained it as gamma diversity as the measure of the overall diversity within a large region that is the gamma diversity and it can be represented as gamma diversity equals alpha plus beta and that is gamma diversity what does that mean right so just look at this picture there are a and b regions and in the left place you can see uh, there are three unique species and the right hand side there are 11 unique species and we already said this earlier uh, alpha diversity of a is 3 uh, alpha diversity of b is 11 okay that means the unique uh, the organisms the species found in each region now the beta diversity is the comparison so for a there is no beta diversity compared to b because uh, these three organisms species are found in b itself but in both they are found so there is no unique organism in a compared to b there are eight unique organisms so if you are going to ask what is the gamma diversity what do we have to do is add all the species so how many species are there you can remove common species meaning you can remove uh, the monkey the tiger and the lion and what else is there because uh, what i mean is that we are adding all the species when i say remove it does not mean that we uh, we uh, just we are not going to count two set of lions meaning there are 11 species in b and three species in a and totally how many species are there actually it is only 11 why because lion the monkey and the tigers are common in both pictures meaning they are of the same species so if you are asking how many species are there in this entire a and b we are, we can say that there are only 11 species all right oh no man okay i just found something and uh, it will not help in any uh, forget anything else and uh, i guess that it's all about gamma diversity that you need to know and yeah thank you